Hey, hey, Grub Gun here. I'm back. I'm back again. Uh, I know I haven't put up a video in like a week or so, but you know, hey, work and life and other things. So, but so here's the thing. So, I started making a plan about three years ago to save up money and move out of the city. Now, I know I go on and 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 on about it. And uh, and then after that, I'll go on and on and on and on and on about it continuously. And at this point, it's probably pretty fucking boring. But, you know, when your whole life is focused on a plan and you, like, fixate on it, it's really like becomes part of who you are you know like for me moving out of Vancouver defined a lot of the last three years for me you know it, it was a, a focus and a goal and uh, you know I've achieved so far what I've wanted to achieve I've saved money I've sacrificed I've made all the necessary uh, you know plans and I've come up with a solution and it's coming to fruition now when I first started I created this countdown I made videos I think they're probably still if you scroll back you can find them but I was at like a thousand and fifty days I had a countdown app on my phone a thousand and fifty days and this countdown drove me forward I used this countdown as a way of seeing time pared down to smaller amounts so that I knew I was moving forward but the problem with this countdown is that it became another thing I fixated on these numbers became a prison in and of themselves I saw very little progress you know once it went from a thousand to 999 I was like okay three digits you know like now it becomes a different thing you know like a thousand days and 999 days it's you know one less you know decimal point to fixate on but the thing is is like when you think that you're not achieving anything and you think that things will never happen having a countdown doesn't help and there are more times than not when my countdown did not help in fact it worked against me because I would feel down and I would feel like nothing was ever happening and I'd look at my countdown and it would say you know 875 days and I'd be like well fuck this shit's never happening and uh, so there were more times than I could care to mention that this countdown thing and like having a countdown visible to you works against you and you know I didn't realize this I had no idea and um, I mean you think like oh you know I mean having a countdown to say a vacation in two months that's okay because it's something fun that you're looking forward to and it's something tangible that you can reach for and you know it's something that you're like you need to know about because you know you need to plan your vacation you need to figure out what you're gonna do you need to pack your stuff and book your trip and book your hotel so I mean like knowing that you're going on a vacation a couple months in advance is a good thing having a countdown to that is a good thing because it's like it's a countdown to a little tiny package of freedom a countdown to a complete lifestyle change and a complete move from your current situation to a new city a new life a new everything is like so much pressure that it it literally sets you back it's an anchor and you know it's 
while, while you can put a positive spin on it, like, oh, in, you know, 900 days, there's the light at the end of the tunnel. I can, I can get to that point and, you know, I'm 900 days away of getting out of this tunnel. That fucking light at the end of the tunnel is not visible. You don't know it's there. In fact, it, it's, it's the opposite of visible. You, you're looking down there and it's just a dark fucking hole of 900 something days. It, it, it's a curse. And I didn't realize that until now. So I'm like continuously like, I want to move now. I want to move now. There's six months left. I want to move now. Oh, there's six months and fucking 22 days left. Oh, I, I, you know, like, why don't I just go now? And it became everything that drove me. And the six months that I have left here in this fucking town, seven months actually, probably, if you look at it that way. I don't know, because I'm getting to that. I realized that the countdown is, isn't important anymore, because I know the goal is taking place. I know it's going to happen. Fixating on how many days left is not important anymore. What's important is the end goal and I know it's going to happen whether I move in four months or whether I move in seven months isn't important anymore because I know I've achieved what I needed to achieve I know that I've finally got there and that I will get there and that there's no nothing stopping me anymore I see the light at the end of the tunnel I can smell the fresh air coming in from the opposite end you know there's a few cars in my way that I've got to get around but I'm there I've done it, but the countdown killed me, and so what I did is I took that app and I deleted it from my phone. I no longer have the countdown app. I don't know how many days it is till I move, because I just know that I'm done. I've checked out of this shit, and I'm moving on, and I need to do that, and while there are huge things I need to do in between now and then, it's just a matter of getting them done. I can't bother fixating on a fucking time, uh, you know, an actual number, because why should I bother doing that anymore? I mean, this is the thing, like, I'm focusing on the step that's in front of me and not the whole fucking staircase. You know what I'm saying? It's just, let's do now and then will come no matter what. I wasted a lot of my fucking time fixating on time. And while, you know, it had its moments and it did motivate me, it also fucking made me miserable. So this is the thing, like, you know, if you're gonna have a plan, like I made a three year plan, to get out of the city and it fucking came to fruition make the plan but you know like having a set date like when I said you know I'm gonna be out of here by my birthday in 2021 that's crazy that's a lot of pressure and it's a lot of bullshit that you shouldn't put yourself through and a lot of like unnecessary um, anxiety because you are doomed to create failure for yourself. Failure. I'll, I'll put that in the hashtag in the, <laughs> in the title of the video. Countdowns make you doomed to failure. Hashtag failure. But um, it does. It dooms you to failure because any step backwards, you feel like you fucked up. And you feel worse instead of feeling better. And the whole point about having a goal and having a thing that you need to do, and especially if it's a life-changing thing, you need to make it so that it makes you feel better, not worse. So I spent a lot of the three years here just fixating, making myself miserable looking at that fucking number. So remember, like, if you have a goal, you know, it's not a vacation. Fucking put the vacation timer on your fucking phone. It doesn't matter because it's like, ooh, in two months I get to go to fucking wherever, right? Like, that's good. You know, you're, you're counting down. Usually it's counting down how many days left of work you have. And that's good because who needs to work, right? Fuck that shit. And, you know, everyone needs a vacation. So that's okay. But, like, to life goals, three-year plan, you know, 
do not set a specific date like I did. It's foolish. You just you're not doomed for failure, but there will be failures. You'll be, there'll be speed bumps along the way that make you feel like you fucked up. And that is the last thing you need is making you feel like you fucked up. So, just like I said, remember, always focus on the step in front of you and not the whole staircase. You'll get there. You'll get there. There is a top. There is an exit. There is an out. You have to fucking start. And the starting part is going to be hard because sometimes your goal is so far in the distance you can't even see an outcome but the outcome's there and you can do it and because fucking if i can do it the laziest prick who has no motivation and is fucking basically you know spent most of his life life fucking shit up and making things worse has finally figured out a way of fucking not fucking shit up and making shit better just remember that all fucking things that you have to do they take sacrifice they take focus they take fucking motivation and it, the thing is is like even if you think you can't you fucking can because use this as an example if this piece of shit can do it fucking anybody can do it and that's it for my motivational speech. So fuck countdowns, because they're fucking lame. And uh, unless for a, a vacation, and then it's awesome because vacations are awesome. And, uh, you know, do what you got to do. But remember, you can do it. And uh, <laughs> I have faith in you. Okay, this has been Grub Gun. Thanks a lot. Signing out. Oh, yeah, look at this. No glare in the glasses again. <laughs> Gotta support the home team. Unbelievable. <laughs>